turning out. Uh, let's take a look at the Radiant players right as we get started here. Hachiman on the Queen of Pain. We have Universe playing the Spirit Breaker. PPD Prepare is going to be your silencer battle. today. Uh, Jeppins is your Vengeful Spirit. And last but not least, Shadow Fiendy, Shadow Fiendy RTZ <laughs> um, off to the races. Yugi is going to be playing your Nature's Prophet for the Dire. We have YS on the Storm Spirit. Demon is going to be your Shadow Demon. And last but not least is going to be Pix Leader on the Brewmaster and Zai on the Dazzle. So look at world. Here we come. We got dual lanes coming on out. And uh, I think that this is kind of a cool little combo here to be throwing about. Uh, Nature's Prophet, not the strongest offlaner in the world. I'm going to say, uh, just in terms of the ability to sort of stay alive, I think it's a little bit tough. Uh, it requires a lot more positioning, I feel like, than, uh, than some of the other, some of the other, uh, some of the other offlaners. Hey, wait, says Arteezy, so we'll wait and see what he has to say. Um, I feel like you get souls from Treants, right? That seems like a thing. Um, it should be at least. Uh, and we'll get started here right at the beginning. So Yugi going to toss on out these treants to scout for him to be able to spot just who all is here. I think at this point, this is where Zai is terrified. Um, he did spot him to be able to use the shadow wave the there. That was a pretty little co cool combo there. Shadow Demon coming on in is going to be able to disrupt the clean of pain. Does she have blank leveled up? Yes, she does. And she's going to be able to get out of there. Absolutely no problem. So Spirit Breaker and Nature's Prophet get the rune. Um, one for each side. Storm was not able to get it and he is going to have to settle for a block instead. YS up against Arteezy. Um, let's get it looking right at the beginning for the last hits and denies and see how this ends up turning out. Smoked at level one PPD and Jeppins. Um, they should be able to potentially get a kill here. This is very, very cool. Uh, it has to be said. Um, going on in immediately. Magic missile down on top of the last word. That's a dead storm spirit. Man, oh man, first blood going on out to PPD. What a gank. My god, are you kidding me? That was disgusting. Uh, absolutely beautiful there. That was really, really well done. Um, looks like Arteezy tossed out a nice little thank you as well. So that's going to help him win mid uh, exceptionally hard. Um, Storm Spirit misses out on a few last hits and denies at the start, uh, but already caught back up. Arteezy at 0-2 to the Storm Spirit 3-0. Man, oh man, that's a little bit unfortunate, but he's got uh, he's got level 2 at this point now, so he's, he's hitting pretty well. Um, he's going to start hitting harder too as the game continues to go on. Shadow Demon up against the uh, Spirit Breaker here with Pix Leader on the Brewmaster. I don't think that they're going to be able to get a kill too early on here with Silencer rotating on backup as well. Should be absolutely fine. In the bot lane, Zai and Yugi up against the uh, up against the Queen of Pain Vengeful Spirit combo. Oh my god, Silencer ends up getting a kill on Shadow Demon. I missed that one ever so slightly. Uh, the ward right on over here was pretty good, and this is the thing, is like... You know, when you've got these roaming supports here, Silencer already has four intelligence stolen, so he's hitting for 57 hits or 57 a hit and on top of that he also has boots did venture go for boots first as well that's a really cool combo but that being said not sure if it's going to end up keeping him alive jeppin's trying to run away from all this is he going to be able to get out of there trying to dodge duck dive everywhere he can but unfortunately not able to soul catcher out on hachi man as well is going to try and blink away wasn't quite able to kill the shadow demon he's going to be able to live through this i think ah it's close yeah he's going to be able to live through this oh my god i can't believe it 14 hp he's walking away he don't care um and hachi man is going to be able to uh have to use his salve so demon running on back to base now at this point but um with the boots advantage it's kind of okay why this now as well is going to get hit with the last word not enough to get a kill there unfortunately but is going to be able to salve on back up and ppd is going to have to run away as well getting chased down ever so slightly by this uh dazzle with the haste rune uh unfortunately this is uh still a little ways away for the bottle for storm spirit um is worth noting shadow fiend currently is level four uh, storm spirit is only level three is going to be able to catch you this might be another kill uh, are they going to be able to get it have grave leveled up uh, to one level oh my god zai is going to end up going down shallow grave out one last time that was really close there honestly because had he not graved before the uh before the tower hit he would have been dead um, the way that Shallow Grave interacts with Last Word is that if you end up graving yourself and Last Word would have been enough damage to kill you, you still die. Um, I experienced that much to my chagrin um, the other day playing as a uh, as somebody going up against the silencer. I don't remember. So anyways, 
Um, no big deal. Let's see, Yugi down here could potentially get run on by the combination of Ventral Spear and Queen of Pain. Needs to be very, very careful here. We do have a Dagger tossed on out there. Is it going to be enough? Not exactly sure. Ventral Spirit, Silencer, they're all going to be able to do enough. And Queen of Pain's just going to blink away from the Trans who are trying to end her life. Over here in the top lane, Demon getting gone on as well. Is going to be able to potentially get a kill here on Universe. Needs to Soul Catcher away. Is going to be able to live, but um, just barely. Spirit Breaker definitely living life dangerously. And Demon could get charged here if he's not careful. Uh, but no, opting to head on out instead. So, in terms of last hits in the eyes, Brewmaster Gaia's is currently the highest. We go Spirit Breaker charging the Nature's Prophet next. This is potentially going to be a kill here. They need to be really, really careful with Silencer in the area as well. With some of the coolest visual effects off on the spells that I've ever seen in my entire life. Does summon this Treance as well. They're going to spot the Spirit Breaker coming on in a little bit earlier. So that way he has some time to react. Blast Word off on him. A little bit of Glaives of Wisdom action. Some damage coming on out. He needs a Bashed one time. Grave, it's pretty good, but I think he's still dead uh and now yeah he's he's definitely dead spirit breaker ends up getting the kill there in return very very nicely done meanwhile in the mid lane shadow fiend is going to be picking up an end of his rune it might this is a uh, this is a question that i sometimes have if it's worth it right here oh zai getting gone on as well he's super dead yep uh queen of pain ends up being last hit if it's worth it with the invis rune to take your ulti at level six and then just wait around for storm spirit to move on up and then you go on in for the kill uh but no Looks like Shadow Fiend is not opting for that build. Instead, is going to go for uh, three in Raze and three in Necromastery. Probably the safer option. The other one's a bit of a gimmick, but uh, you know what? I love gimmicks. Man, oh man. Uh, this is the thing I was talking about, though, is that Nature's Prophet doesn't have a really great escape mechanism, uh, besides, you know, obviously TP. But uh, the, the big thing that he's able to do is go on in there with the Treants and try and, you know, farm on up as much as possible, get really nice blocks off to ensure that he gets a lot of EXP in lane, that type of stuff. Radiant's top top uh, but it's a little bit attack. rough. Meanwhile, this is all going on, though. Brewmaster is up top here just getting everything he wants, has treads already. Um, we do have a very nice smoke coming on out here from Zion Demon. They might opt to go on over into the top lane. It is worth noting that Brood does have split, but not quite enough mana to use it at this point. Uh, waiting for Shadow Fiend to come on back in. They know that he is over there farming up the jungle, um, and they're just going to wait. They're going to wait for him to come on back into lane, which he's doing right now, and this might be a death. He is invised up, though, so this is the quest. No, okay, they're not going to do it. All right, yeah, Dire, uh, excuse me, um, yeah, Dire, I think that they're about to die. Um, Demon is here. Yeah, that's a, that's a very freaking dead Shadow Demon. Um, does disrupt himself. Zai wants to try and stay alive as long as possible. Not sure if he's going to be able to. Spirit Breaker ends up getting the kill on Shadow Demon. No Vengeful Spirit. Picks him off. One time Magic Missile into his dome. Seven and one start. Man, oh man, they are running a train through these dudes. No. And while this is going on, we do see a denied ward by PPD. Man, oh man, is that petty. Um, he wants to try and uh, ball the Is it going to be enough? Not exactly sure. One last raise by Shadow Fiend, and he ends up getting taken down. Picks leader, not enough mana for the Bruce split. You're in trouble, buddy. Um, might end up getting taken down here. They don't realize, I, I, they should realize how much mana he has. Okay, yeah, no, he's just able to get enough right now with the tread switch. Um, very, very well done there. We do have Spear Breaker, potentially. Actually, no, we called off the charge. No big deal. Yugi is over here, though, and is going to go down to the Queen of Pain. I do believe um, this is not the situation you want to be if you're a Nature's Prophet. Ah, uh, the little turnaround, the little do -si do trying to stay alive, but unfortunately, Silencer ends up picking up the kill there. In the mid lane, again, more action going on, uh, but not really. GG ends up getting called. I would be surprised if that actually was real this early, but honestly, uh, they're in a bit of a bad spot. 14 Intelligence stolen by Silencer. Uh, we'll see if that's real. I don't think that's real, though. No. Um, Demon now is getting charged. Uh, it is worth noting that that's, that's basically where their morale is at, though. Um, I really thought Spear Breaker was going to go in on that. I would have loved to see Universe charging on in there and trying to get Radiance a kill. Top tower um, but nonetheless, attack. no big deal. We've got Pix Leader here who's going to uh, continue to just kill these towers up here. With the Nature's Prophet in conjunction, they might be able to get a kill. Zai running on into the middle of this. He don't give a damn. Universe is potentially going to go down, but Arteezy is going to come on back in now. Um, He's in a little bit of trouble. He does pop the Invis room. Oh man, oh man, one last raise. That's dead dazzle. 
and Spear Breaker in conjunction with the Shadow Fiend. Double kill coming on out for Arteezy. He is starting the snowball, and guys, it is rough. Picks up the Midas. GG ends up getting called. I think that that one's going to be for real. Um, eight minute game. Oh my goodness, that is uh, that is unfortunate. There um, looks like instead we are we are seeing people canceling on out the GG. Looks like several people want to continue to play. Um, we'll see if that ends up actually being the case for them. Uh, Arteezy wants a long game though. He's going for Midas. <laughs> Let's see, we've got Yugi over here as well is silenced up, is going to be able to uh, just try and run away. Um, Queen of Pain, not sure what her next item is, already has treads at this point. I kind of feel like, you know, you can occasionally skip treads and go for an orchid early if you want to. Um, but maybe not so much in the safe lane uh, where she has Daya's been all game long. But we'll attack. see. No big deal. Uh, Zai is over here waiting, trying to see if he can make something happen up against Arteezy here. But it's a little bit dangerous. YS is here. Can potentially ball on in on somebody if he so desires. Uh, could potentially happen. It's a little bit scary, though, honestly. All right, disruption out. Soul Catcher down as well. Global silence. Man, that hurts. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Wowie, wow, wow. Uh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Oh, God. Zai's taking a lot of damage here as well. Um, and he is super dead. Uh, oh, my God. They are just running a train through him. 14 to 1 currently. Um, this is not the way that you want to, to be at. This is, this is not... Uh, this is not <laughs> this Dyer's is not good. Tower is um, under attack. Did we see a death there? No. Okay, just TPing on back to base at this point. What happens if you abandon? Um, people get sad at you, Zai. Uh, so please don't. Please don't abandon. That'd be that'd be very frustrating. All right, Ballin on in is going to be able to kill the Queen of Pain. What a play there. Um, Mr. YS just making it happen. Uh, that was very, very well done there. That's that's a little bright spot. Uh, let's take a look at net worth at this point. It is worth noting RTZ is almost at 6K at this point. Um, only about 10 minutes into the game we do see the storm spirit coming back a little bit so there is Dyer's a chance it's going to be rough though so catcher out as well as, as a disruption a lot of damage here storm's coming on in oh god it would have been enough he's able to get the kill there 708 gold coin the way of shadow demon though oh god you want that gold to be going for your storm spirit vengeful spirit ends up picking up the nature's prophet in return in the bot lane um, so that helps. It definitely helps, but um, it's a pretty big lead into the favor of the Radiant. Honestly, though, only 3,000. They could still bring it back. Um, it, they, they could. It's tough. It's going to be a really tough game for them, but I think that they could end up winning it. Um, this is the part of the game where you just need to sort of buckle down, uh, build up that mental fortitude, and, and come back at it at a fresh fresh new start. Um, because Shadow Fiend just ended up being taken out. His Midas is off cooldown, but he's not doing anything. Um, he is going for mech as well, so he's built around sort of being more team fighty a little bit, as opposed to sort of snowballing and getting single kill pickoffs. I, I guess that that's a bit of a problem, though, honestly, because it means that if you're going for more team fighty stuff uh, you're gonna have oh what a time global silence saving universe's life um that's a bug move right there and then tossing out another little record of souls as well uh, oh silence up again it's not going to be able to cast out the brood split that is frustrating all right going on in on the shadow demon one more time he's going to be able to catch him storm might be able to win cleanup clues there we'll see oh wants to get it no not quite uh able to get away unfortunately the ends up getting called we'll see if it ends up getting canceled yet again not exactly sure storm spirit was able to pick up that kill in the end as i said but zai might end up going down uh, in return for it Queen of Pain ends up picking up that kill. Shadow Fiend has a map. This is actually a really good... Uh, so this Radiant's is the thing that makes a lot of sense here. Dyer's is that if you are going to be winning this far ahead, the only real answer that you have to it... Um, but it's really worth noting that attack. Nature's Prophet was able to kill Queen of Pain and get a courier kill. Uh, very, very well done, NP. You're doing you're doing everything you need to do now. Um, like you said, I don't really know what you do at this point. You start up, and then you sort of hope. <laughs> <laughs> is able to kill him in the end very well done um but so here's my thing is that uh if you know that you're going to be this far ahead one of the only real answers that you have to be able to deal with it is uh start of starting to try and uh, i don't know what he's okay they're saying smoke on up try and five man um and if you are going to be five manning uh then 
the mech is the best thing to help you there. Tosses out another smoke just because, just in case, like, you need two smokes, guys. Um, looks like they're gonna try and rotate on over. This is the kill, honestly. And uh, I think we're gonna be able to get him here. Um, I don't really see him being able to get out of this. Man, man, the turnaround might be real, honestly. Storm Spirit ends up getting the kill there as well. That's pretty solid. Uh, all of them were around in the area as well for the bonus AoE gold. That's that's pretty good. That's the way that this game starts to turn around. You get a few more pickoffs like that, and all of a sudden you're back into it. 4K lead at 13 minutes is rough. Uh, same amount lead for EXP as well, but they could do it. There, stranger things have happened. Um, we'll leave it at that. Good game, well played. Ends up getting called out by RTZ. Uh, apparently, he thinks that it might be the end as well. So. Um, both teams uh, a little bit apprehensive about their potential future. Shadow Demon is going to be able to catch up this, uh, this silencer right here. Global Silence does, end up, it does end up getting popped, but uh, I think that they're going to be able to kill him. Yeah, Storm Spirit. Oh, is he going to be able to live through this? Oh, God, won't swallow it as quick as possible. Demon does end up going down in the end, and Spirit, or excuse me, Storm Spirit was able to get out of there as well. Very, very nicely done. Now Dazzle needs to run away with the quickness because he is going to get hunted down if he is not Radiance careful. They are going to be able Attack. to uh that was a pretty nice dodge there by uh Dazzle to be able to get out uh very well done at this point he tps away <laughs> um he does not want any part of this mess I would imagine. Uh, so let's see might is still there for shadow um looks Dyer's like yugi is gonna try and run away here doesn't want any part of this oh my god is he gonna catch him Ooh. <sighs> it's rough nature's prophet it's rough i, I feel you yugi. it's very hard um, so unfortunately, uh, he is going to be dead for a little while as well now. 22 to 7, it's not as bad as it was, but it's really not good. Um, apparently we also have couriers. We're, we're starting to see couriers following around Zai. Um, so, I don't know what that's about, but you know what, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Um, he is going to cast out a nice little shadow wave as well. Um, yeah, I don't know why the couriers are, are following him around, but you know what, it's a, it's a distraction method, I promise. Um, let's see what else is going on here. They're scouting couriers. I absolutely... Pro oh, you know what? They might actually be so that that way he can farm more efficiently. I... I don't think this is a real thing, but I think it might be a thing. Honestly. Uh, we'll see. I'm gonna have to take a look at that later. Two fights going on mid. Our team is gonna end up getting taken out here by the Shadow Demon as well as the, uh... Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. I think Shadow Demon just killed Storm right there. Um... Yeah, so he's using the courier to be able to farm more efficiently, but I honestly think that Shadow Demon might have killed the storm right there. He, he put him into a wall and then ended up getting taken out because of the, uh, oh, very nice there to get the Bruce split off. Um, he's going to be able to catch Jenkins here as well. They want to be a little bit careful, need to lift the up very nicely down there. Now we've got Storm coming on back in as well. It's going to be able to lay down a nice little remnant. Going on side at this point. Couriers are all going down. That's a little bit unfortunate. Um, and now we've got Storm running on back in. Wants to try and the Storm Spirit. We do have the uh, Purge going off on the Shadow... Or excuse me, the Spirit Breaker. But man, oh man, this is really not looking good. It's 27 to 7 at this point. Uh, courier looks like it's going to end up getting feeded, fed as well. GG well play ends up getting called out. Um, I think that this is actually the end at this point, yeah. Thank you guys very much for watching. You can uh, check me out at youtube.com slash lyricalgangster, twitch.tv slash lyricalgangster, or twitter.com slash lyricalgangster. Switch the E with a 3 in the Twitter and Twitch, and you will find me. Thank you guys very much, and uh, I'll see you